We are going to show you how to replace the fridge or freezer door seal on a Fisher and Paykel. Um, first, you will need to indicate the model of the fridge. So I'll get Jason to show you how to do that. So if you open up the bottom door, at the very bottom of the Fisher and Paykel will be a white label just like this. And at the very top corner, you will see the model number, which is e 522 B R X F D U. When searching for a door seal, you can just type in the E five two two B instead of typing in the last five digits after that. All right, so we'll run you through replacing the door seal. First, open up the fridge. Grab the seal by the very top corner and just slowly peel it away and you'll see it pulling away out of a plastic track. Um, your track might be white or grey, but it's the same. So you just slowly peel that seal out of the track. It should come out really easily and only take you a few seconds. Once you've got the old seal off, you grab the new seal, which we've sent you, which will look something like this. Just give it a bit of a unfold. And we like to start in the top corners. So in the back of the seal, there'll be a little dart that we slowly clip into that plastic channel. You'll feel it clipping in through the other corner. And then once you've got the top two corners pressed in, the seal will just hang and you can work on the bottom. It's just a matter of clipping that dart into the plastic channel and working your way up. We do like to sometimes start from the bottom, work our way into the middle. Uh, the Fisher and Paykel are probably the easiest door seals to replace yourself. So I'd highly recommend giving it a go instead of paying someone at least $100 to just clip it in for you. All right, well, as you can see, the new seal's on. It's clipped in. It's looking good. Once you've done that and you've just gone around just to double check that there's no little bumps, it's been clipped in properly all the way around the entire door channel. The door should then be able to close and it should hopefully be perfectly sealed. If not, we can show you a little trick to fix the seal. All right, it's looking pretty good. Sometimes it's best to open up the bottom door just to have a look underneath to make sure that the door is sealed properly. And as you can see, this seal is perfect. Sometimes with the older Fisher and Paykel fridges, when you replace the seal, you might see a little gap just like this down the side. Um, the best way to fix something like that is to grab a hairdryer. Uh, and what you do is you open up the door and you grab the hairdryer and you heat up the part of the seal that has the gap. And once you heat up the seal in that area, just underneath, and then close the door and give it a bit more heat on the outside edge, and once you do that, you'll see the seal slowly expand out until the seal is completely covered. Uh, we do have another video explaining this. 
It's probably the most common issue with fridge door seals. But majority of the time, you'll be able to just pull off the old seal, press in the new one like we've showed you, and the door will seal perfectly. Um, if you do have any other issues, let us know, and we will be happy to help.